impression of how we design this. Uh, the suspension is quite hard. Uh, I'll see the and it's a little bit better uh, there's a lot of diving on breaking and uh, the clutch was right uh, it was hitting my finger so I adjusted that so it's quite a lot of power but the wind clash is quite uh, very very strong I don't think you can drive your own boat uh, and the good luck very very low and the steering is like it is very too far out that you the full step down so you you really can't uh, it's very it's quite difficult to count the steer so because you're already stretch you can't push beyond you have to pull the other hand but it's not a comfortable steering position for my eye I'm going to pass foot uh, when I put my foot down so it's not too tall. So let's see how it goes for the rest of the ride. So here is the cameraman who's going to help me take the video. <laughs> Say hi, Anna. <laughs> so I just completed a ride. Uh, hold this. I'm going to take Hmm. So I just completed for the back lapo. Okay, three day for la. So I come right to Pondi and back. Uh, I went via Isia, then came back via Dindivanam, roughly about 300 kilometers today. So it took about two hours to go and return about two and a half hours. So the bike is fast, but you can't really ride it fast. Uh, one is it's very loud. I got a bit annoyed with the sound. Uh, next is there's no windscreen. So if you go even at 120, I, fe I felt a full blast of wind, and it was quite annoying as well. And uh, I mean, they said this should be like quite hot, but I think if you don't wear a pant, you could feel it. But uh, mm -hmm. Since I wore the same dress, uh, I did not feel much heat. I mean, I was driving in full sun, uh, the Chennai sun. It's about 40 degrees today, and I, I mean, I was drove. I drove at noon at 12 o'clock, so uh, it was not uh, uncomfortable. Yeah, there's slight heat, but if you wear a normal pant, you shouldn't feel it. But if you're wearing sandals, yeah, uh, you gotta be quite careful with the problems. Don't touch it with your feet. Um, now, the real problem is the ergonomics. So, if you see, uh, come closer, Anna. A little bit closer. You see, my posture is like I'm fully locked. I don't have any free place. Only The only way I can do that is to bend a bit. So, that makes it like, you know, a sports bike position is not comfortable for a long ride. So, so I mean, you, you can't really count the So, I've, I've let go. I have to lean a bit to actually make a turn and the turning radius is quite short like it's not like your regular bike so in tight uh, city turns you've got to be quite ca careful because you can't make a short turn you need about 3-4 meters to make a you know, very small turn uh, the bike is quite heavy uh, in yeah it's expected it's about If you park it on a lean, you've got to muscle it out uh, back. So remember to park it on the opposite side so that you can take off the bike uh, in a forward direction. Um, and as I said, the suspension is quite hard. I was able to feel really every single bump on the road. And after about two, one even one of us, my I, I could have, I had a sore back. Uh, I think it's not a great tourer. Uh, not a great tourer, so yeah, you, you gotta be careful uh, uh, what you really want. But it's a uh, really good for a city commute uh, for a short trip, but not for a long one. Thank you. So what I did afterwards was I took it for a city ride for about an hour. Um, I think I would say it, it works a lot 
better as a city commuter uh, it's quite fast you could overtake other slow people you know in an instant but why do you want a leader bike I mean, almost later uh, for a city commute uh, you could get a much cheaper bike maybe 300 four cc's and do almost the same so it's not a tourer because uh, you know you don't have windshield so you can't ride fast I mean the bike is built for speed but if you can't ride that fast then I don't know what's the purpose of it maybe some people would like it I'm not very sure it's not for me uh, city commute yes it works uh, but you could have cheaper options and get a similar experience um, I don't really who the bike is for maybe for European Western markets where the roads are very good because with the hard suspension uh, you need a very good road to really enjoy the ride otherwise it's for Indian roads where you, there's a lot of bumps uh, even on highways you get an, get an even you know, ramp up and downs and it's not that comfortable so in my take it's not for me but yeah pe some people might like it the, it looks really good uh, the looks are awesome I got to give that uh, I don't I did not like the sound uh, uh, it's very loud even at 100 I don't know if you I, mean, I could not ride it at a higher speed the, the bike was rented as I said uh, so I had to be under a speed limit of 120 so about the rentals it, I rented it from a swordfish <coughs> so they have a speed limit of 120 so that makes it a lot boring I mean why would you want to rent a slow bike and ride slow it's it's not for fun to ride a slow bike fast than a fast bike slow it takes out uh, all the entertainment yeah, but anyway, that's unless you buy it for yourself, you can't really push it. Uh, but so this is my uh, my review. I uh, hope you like it. Uh, do uh, like uh, or subscribe to the channel. Thank you.